Hello and welcome back. My name is Sebastian and we want to do today partition. So use the over and partition function to make a little bit use of, yeah, that we can add an additional column with some information. But this is a little bit different from the normal use of the sum function where we can see this now in an example. So usually what you do is um, we take at first select, we want from our transaction, our transaction date, and we want the brand ID, and we want the amount from our sales table. Let's limit this to 10. Let's run this. So simple query, we see transaction date, brand ID and amount. And now we, what we want to do is we want to summarize. So when we use now the sum amount and we know that we have to use the group by clause. One, two, three, so one, two, and then we see that actually the information goes a little bit lost here yeah because this grouping hmm, doesn't make so much sense and we have also here the case that when we want to yeah summarize by a brand ID doesn't work so much so we will take this here out amount Sorry, just by one and two. Okay. And we will order by brand ID. So that's two sending. So one, two. So that's why we can write order by two. There we can see that we still have here not all summarized because we have two different transactions. And that's why we can use then the partition. And that's how we use them. So we will say, we take this away, uh, we leave this, we also don't need any more than the group by because the partition we can use without the group by clause. So we want to sum the amount over and then parentheses partition by brand ID and then we can give it a name as amount per brand. Let's do this and now what we have in different way now we see we have the different transaction dates still. Different brand IDs, 1122, two, but we have now the complete amount. And that's actually great. And we didn't use any group by clause, um, so which is usually used when you have the sum amount. So that's really great. On the other hand, um, we can use also the average. Let's make it also amount and then again the syntax over partition by brand id as average per brand let's run this and then we have also here the average now as you can see the average still is again with a lot of zeros Important is here that when we use the round function, we don't set it here, comma two. This doesn't work, no. We will make it here in the end, like this. And then we must have here a nice result. So this is how we can use the over and partition by. So it's another way of summarizing summarizing without that the information before goes lost 
So actually what we just added is here a column and you can avoid to use any group by clause, which in the end will have the same effect. So when you use a group by, all the other information goes lost. I hope you find this interesting and happy coding and I will hopefully see you in some of the next videos. Have a nice day. Bye.